I don't want any water. I don't want any juice. I'll tell you what I really want. Just shut up and give me my whiskey! 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 <laughs> oh. all, right. all right there we go <laughs> what's going on everybody it's uh eric and chris and dan hey. he's back again for uh what is this the 11th review 11th review awesome oh, so wow back for number 11 uh dan has blessed us with jack daniels bicentennial bicentennial tennessee whiskey yep uh it's a little it's crazy uh it's to celebrate their 200 year of Tennessee being a state, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Sorry, my phone. Not so we'll let Dan go ahead and, and open it up. And yeah. The, give it a pour. The big unboxing, right? That's, That's right. the just, the big okay. unveiling. All right. Well, just uh, we'll uh, we'll go on uh, later on and explain why everything is the way it is. But uh, as you see me open this, uh, it's not going to be very conventional, and we will explain later on. So. It's very fragile. <laughs> Enjoy watching me fumble around while these guys talk. <laughs> well, it was 24 years old, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. 24 year old, you know, Jack Daniels, you know. As whiskey. you can tell, it's it's a little rode, something. Rode the course. Well, so, with Jack Daniels, his actual name is James Newton Daniel, and he shortened it up to Jack. Mr. Right? Jack. Mr. Jack Daniels. So, um, this is, what? what is it? What is it? 40... 48 proof ABV? 48 ABV yeah. 96 proof? 40, 40%? Yep. yep. Made in 96 proof. Lynchburg, Tennessee. Right. And you know the it's the same mash bill as their your um all Jack Daniels mm -hmm. products, which oh, is cool. the eight percent corn, the twelve percent barley, eight percent rye. Yep. But like I said, the thing that's different in nineteen Oops. you know uh, ninety six, this was the highest, you know, proofed Jack Daniels that they came out with. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. You're gonna have to push it in, I think. Uh, I think so. Oh, yep. there she goes. There she goes. That's all she wrote, buddy. See? Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> no! Come on, man! You're killing me, Smalls. What's up? So basically, uh, <laughs> Mr. James Newton Daniel, A.K.A. Jack Daniels, came as a teenager. He learned to make moonshine. Or whiskey from a, a preacher of all people named uh, Dan Call. <laughs> Dan Call was a preacher. Dan taught him how to make <laughs> taught him how to make uh, whiskey. Yep. And his mas Dan's master distiller, his name was um, Nathan Nearest Green, who is actually a slave to uh, the preacher, and he ended up. Um, through the, what was it, Proclamation? Emancipation Proclamation. Emancipation Proclamation, and he chose to stay there. And he was one of the seven distillers, or ma master distillers that Jack Daniels yeah. has had. Seven, y'all, that's like Metaxa. Yeah. Would they have five? Exactly. That's, I wrote this, it's funny, because we came up with the same thing, because you know, it was interesting that you know, there's only been seven. And, you know, uh, but Jack Daniels... Obviously started in what, uh, 1875? Uh, yeah, 75. But they didn't get going no one's earlier than that, wasn't it? Well, I think that was the official start. I think like 18, so after taking, so Dan Call, who's the preacher, um, decided that he didn't want to be in the business anymore due to a religious reasons. Mm, right. So then uh, Mr. Jack bought it from Dan mm -hmm. uh, in 1844. With, with an inheritance from his dad. With an inheritance right. from his dad. And uh, so he bought it in 1844, and then later on he purchased the land that Jack Daniels so Jack series Daniels on hollow. now. Yeah, Jack hollow, Daniel yeah. Hollow. The hollow. Oh, right, nice. Back in the hollow. All right, so I think we should give it a taste. Yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, all right. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Thanks, Dan. Yes, sir. I'm kind of excited. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> smell butterscotchy fruity or something? There's definitely like a it wasn't a buttery, oh, you know, oaky. There we go. Oh man. Oh, different. I I I couldn't taste anything because I was 
was crazy about how smooth this is. It is. It's like buttery almost, <clears throat> right? Yeah. No, it, it, it's smooth. Like I said, it's crazy smooth. Yeah, it's got absolutely zero bite going down. Mm -hmm. Feel a little sting around the lips, but I mean, yeah, this. Holy smokes. So, would you think this is, you know, Jack Daniels? If I just poured this, you know, for you? No. Nope. Would you guess it was Jack? Nope. No, well, Jack nope. is regular. Jack, way Jack usually yeah, has harsh. that, like, super sweet, to me anyway. This is, this is not the Jack Daniels I'm nope. used to. Obviously, it's... Well, I mean, like, I, I do get a little bit of Jack flavor. I, I, do you? Yeah. You get a but little bit, but like he said, the the buttery type <laughs> like, smooth. I don't know. I mean, it almost smells like butterscotch. Well, what do you think? Like, you know, should we go with our normal, you know, review process? It's like, you know, the it's neat on the rocks and with the melt. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll I mean, just try one more. I kind of feel here. bad putting ice in there, though. Well, I, I'll be the one. I mean, I'll try it and see if you know. Kim, is there any melted anything? Like, like a half of a little ice cube. Cause I just want like a right, spit I'm gonna put of one, water. One, one skull in. That's it. A spit. I got this stuff is so, so good. Smooth. Okay, wait. You do it just like that. Okay. And then if you like it, then I'll try it. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll let him be the guinea pig. Right. Yeah. Because the um, and that's the thing that the Centennial bottle, same, mm -hmm. same look, same look, but it was obviously you know um, back then it was hard to make, so it was only a handful made. The yeah. Centennial. Yep. And they said, you know, Jack only Jack himself only handed them out to friends, friends. and friends and family. The, Jack Daniels te technically a bourbon, a straight bourbon. Yes. But okay. you know, but they don't call it that. It's 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 like, or like a, it's a it's a bourbon plus. Yeah. Because of the what the sugar maple you know charcoal filtration that says they yep. to uh, mellow it out. Yeah, mellow it out. So what okay. they do is they get pallets upon pallets upon pallets of wood that sugar maple, and they burn so much wood to make pellets. these pellets that are like pea size that go in a 10 foot deep vat, vat. Wow. and then they have these little um, copper tubing that goes through there mm -hmm. and they call it like a slow drip and it legitimately is thousands of gallons of white dog Jack Daniels that slow drips into this 10 foot deep charcoal chamber wow. and eventually gets to the bottom and then they barrel it. So the, it makes the, it. the Lincoln County process. Oh, is that's, that what it's called? Yep, that's what it's called. Oh, I didn't know that. That's okay. cool. Learn quite a bit. The more you know, <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> um, Give it a pull here before it gets. Yeah, oh yeah, before, before she gets, gets too melty. Did it change the nose? Ooh. Did it lose flavor? Oh, it definitely melts it. Melts it out even more. Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it takes what? you know. Takes that little bite yeah. off. Yeah, it takes that bite and like you know, um, and like you know, the finish. The finish is mm -hmm. whatever. I, I don't know if you guys like the finish. Like it's neat. Yeah. I really felt strong. The finish came on strong. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. whoa! I can really feel it. I can feel it coming right. through. You know, with the ISO, it totally calms that down almost to. So yeah. did it? Did you get butterscotch the first time without ice? Do you still get butterscotch now? It's butterscotch. And of course, there's know? that caramely butterscotch. Yeah, caramely, yeah. like you know, oaky. The, you know, like, the you know, flavor's still yeah, there. Yeah. But the flavor's still there, and it's just tamed down. And, I think I would. I think it wouldn't go neat. You right would now. go neat. Yeah, I would. Yeah, no, change yep. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that much? I think it changed it enough where, like, I would. Yeah, I would not. Too much melon. Yep, too melon. Okay, cheers. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I suppose one more won't hurt. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Yep. There's definitely butterscotch. See, hundred percent. Because you put it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. So, uh, yep. In the membrane. So they they make the they make their own barrels. Yeah, make their own barrels. You know, distill their own you know whiskey, um, and of course their, their whole you know the water, the mm -hmm. limestone water. Yeah, That's that was the, super cool too. Limestone filter water, so obviously yep. it's, all, it's all a big deal. So that's the whole, almost like yeah. what, uh, whiskey acres, right? Yeah, I was going to yep. say, that's, a whole, that's yep. a whole old day whiskey I saw acres the, right there. I saw the cave, and it's literally a cave that just has spring water bubbling up from it, and then it runs down limestone, mm -hmm. and they freaking use, it's brilliant. Yep. Yep. You know, do you know, the, you know the whole story behind old number seven? I, I want to know if your story is different than my story. Okay. Because I don't think there's... From what I've heard, nobody really knows what old number seven came from. But the one, the thing I got is, it's basically, um, shoot, 
Okay, so it's said to be that the number seven is from a government registration. Number. Yeah. yeah oh, you same got the same thing? thing? Same okay. thing. Yep. So it's a government registration. So they were like, you know, number seven. That was the registration. Right. Then of course it changed. So the number changed. Right. So the registration number changed, and they're like, um, no, we're, we're keeping it. Well, oh, number seven. Yeah, but you know, they had such a following by then. They're like, yeah, no, we're gonna, you know, so they kept it. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, cool. I guess. Hell yeah. I, like it. I mean, that's what you know, Jack Daniels known for, right? Yep. And the hand with rock and roll. That's it. They are also known, and I forget what year it was, but my man Clint Boyer finished the day 2507 upside down. <laughs> yeah, sweet fact, bro. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did, I did see something about all their uh, uh, marketing. Like, they have a drag car, I think. And a yeah, car. yeah, they, yeah, they ran NASCAR, I think, for four or five years. That was it, and then they pulled out. Down your rest of your whiskey. Okay. Uh huh. Go, uh... Cheers. Go ahead. But I don't want it to go away. Well, yeah, there's a little. I'll share a little bit it. more, but that's. Oh, a little bit more. All right. Okay. Because since we did this, you know, I mean, I wanted to. Oh. oh see, brilliant. I wanted to see you are brilliant, the difference, man. right? I want to see the difference. Brilliant. Like you know, these guys didn't know, so I. Great. That is well dead. done, sir. That's why he's the artist. <laughs> yep. That's yep. So you want to see? You know, can't open you, it. But is there a different? Oof. Yeah. There. Hey, there, yeah, there, there might be. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the most. This is one of the most iconic. Yes. I mean, ev like whiskey I mean, ever, yeah, right? You say I mean, whiskey. What do you say? First thing yeah. that pops in your mind, Jack Daniels, right. JD. Oh, you should have washed my glass out. Oh, I even have water down here too. Yep. Well, maybe I should just yeah, pound this and yeah, pound it. Or... Go ahead, come on, do it. Mm. <laughs> Rinse the palate. Right, 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 right. All right. All right. Damn, I would have never. Th Man, this guy thinks of everything. I know everything. Everything. He is a genius. All right, so I will pretend that I just didn't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now during like you know what whiskey news, which then yeah. we'll like go into how we came upon this fortunate wonderful, event, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful gem with yeah, it's unfortunate events. <laughs> Um, so well, yeah, but even how you acquired the bottle. I exactly. Mean, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. So uh, I went to go visit my dad in uh, Illinois, and um, I once I got there, I'm like, "Hey, Dad, you uh, you know, you have any whiskey around the house?" And he's like, mm, uh, "Oh, you know what? Wait a second. He goes upstairs, goes into his bedroom closet. He likes to hang on to things for a little while. I don't even really remember how long ago it was, <laughs> uh, but anyways, he pulls this thing out, and I'm like, "Oh, hell no." I go, the first thing I did is I whipped out my phone and I went on eBay. <laughs> and back then it was worth a hundred bucks. So I'm like, for a hundred bucks? No, I'm not drinking this. I'll just give me the keys to your car, Dad. I'm going down the street. And uh, so that was it. I just uh, brought it back home with me, hung onto it. And it okay, had been... so it was now how long ago? So so when was that? When you, when you actually had the bottle? I have the you think? horrible. Well, it's estimate. Ten years ago? Uh, Five yeah, years ago? Yeah, probably. Like 90s, at least. You know, was it the 90s or the 2000s? What do you think? It's probably 2000. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. I've had it for a very, very yeah. long time. And yeah. it's been sitting in my cabinet in the office. I got my little man corner with my uh, Jack Daniels car. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> my little ass car stuff. But yeah, I've been sitting there uh, for a very, very long time. So did you ask your dad how he came? Like, did he just go to the uh, liquor store uh, and buy it? He, he owned a gas station. Okay. And had a lot of clients, and a client had given that to him. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Yep, That's... it was a gift to him. So really, actually, other than you know, my cost to fly there, which really is not relevant at all. So basically, I have zero in it. So well, cheers to pops, though. Yeah, yes, no kidding. Yeah. That's great. Yep. Uh, thank yeah, you, Mike. cheers. Yeah. Let's give this one a try and see. Yeah. All right. And then we'll finish the story. Yeah. Mm. It's too. It's Jack. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is actually. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad, bad at all. It's good. It's pretty smooth. I don't think. I, not near as smooth as. <laughs> yeah, nowhere yeah, near that. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, 
I think I can say I don't think I've had Jack unless it's been in a shot where you don't taste it and it just goes. Right. right. Or with Coke. Right. I, was, I think the last time that I had Jack like this, you know, was, um, you know, what, back in Georgia when I got, actually had Green Label Jack. Mm. Oh, yeah, I read about that. That was a lighter proof, wasn't it? Well, I mean, it, yeah, I, I think it was like, yeah. but the thing was, it was only available, you know, in certain states. Like, you couldn't get it anywhere else. Really? Yeah. Was it yeah. because it was lower alcohol content? Uh, or ABV? I'm not sure. I'm, it just wasn't available. You know, it seemed like it wasn't available in many places. Right. But okay. I don't ever remember even seeing Green Label Jack other than reading about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I've seen it. Yeah? yeah? I've seen it. Yeah, there's so many different variations of it out there. So, then, you know, so, so we're going to be able to like, you know, drink this and then do another you know, little taste of that one? Uh, we can. <laughs> hey, it's, it's all about the fun, right? You know, right, can't right. put a price on fun whatsoever. Right. So, so finishing go ahead, go finishing ahead. off the story, that that nice bottle um, sat on my uh, shelf uh, multiple places uh, for many years, and uh, uh, maybe two years ago, it was sitting on top of our filing cabinet where I had all my. The uh, 07 NASCAR stuff all uh, laid out and everything, and it was sitting there. We were going through the file cabinets and had a couple drawers pulled out. And I don't know what we were doing, but pulled out a third drawer, and the file cabinet started tipping. And it was one of those, oh, no. <laughs> and I caught it, but it's still, hence the shattered box and the broken cork. <laughs> So it was so, intact. But it's 24 so, years old, but, though. Yeah, right. But the key factor is it was intact. It, it was, was intact. The, the it was sealed. Lot, it was still he sealed. sacrificed himself for the bottle. To save the, the bottle. bottle. Uh, would oh, you? hell yeah. For that? Oh, yeah. I, I dove out of <laughs> <Yeah>. that chair. <laughs> Just, so he can go to jackdaniels.com and enter this bottle number and then register this bottle with Jack Daniels. The funny thing is it says it's... <laughs> If you'd like to register this limited edition bottle at our distillery, please complete the information below. Detach and mail to Mr. Jimmy Bedford, head distiller. Ooh, Jimmy Bedford. Which but he's not, yeah. he's six, not there six. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, you can go, yeah. so you can go online and do it. Yep. But I would definitely keep this. Though. Oh, well, no, you, that's keep staying the, on the keep bottle. The number, you know oh, yeah. No, Bison That one, yeah. Yeah, that one. I couldn't find out how many were made. Because, you know, what, what's the number on that? This one is... 551,988. So how many did they make, though? Right. So I don't know. So I've I seen a couple tags online. Yeah. But the highest one I've seen was in you know, the, the 500,000 range. Oh, really? I've seen some lower, yeah. but I didn't see anything higher than 500. Well, and I was trying to look up, too, how many bottles he gave out of Centennial he oh, gave out. Yeah, I don't Which know. I think they just, they were like, I don't know. Here you, here, you have one, you, you have one, you have one. Right. No, I, I think he said, you know, that wasn't for sale. Like he said, he just gave out them, yeah. those out to friends and family. But this is, this is freaking sweet, dude. It is. So we've yeah. been super lucky, right? With I mean, friends. It's a, a great year. Like the yeah. first, you know, Scooter Ham yep. Awards, and now you know something like this. Yep. This is something that you're not going to find every day. No. Nope. Uh. Uh. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, the stuff found down below. He's been excited to do this for quite some time. Yes. So yeah. I kept telling him we got to do it. We got to do it. And finally they kicked me in the tail and said let's do this so i'm like all it's, right it's it's and awesome now, that, now you... that they tell me it's 600 bucks i'm like hey, <laughs> we, we almost had to kill it <laughs> but no oh, sure. i'm not i mean if let's go for it well if you kill it, <laughs> oh, kill it? <laughs> <laughs> let's give it a shot let's see what's happening so, right, no. i'm ready oh for another pull yeah. on the other one yeah another pull right. like, yeah, already well around. i suppose as you're pulling as you're pouring number whatever right here um, Definitely. Huge shout out again to Dan for blessing yes. us with this bottle and letting us give it a go. We appreciate that. And uh, to your pops. Yes. For giving you this bottle. Thanks, MP. Um, <laughs> huge shout out to our followers. Yep. We are two people away on Instagram for getting to 400. Ooh, 400. Right. Yeah, let's do it. Which we're super excited about. So if you go on Instagram, it's Whiskey in a Hammock. Uh, make sure you like and follow. follow. And then on YouTube, uh, Whiskey in a Hammock, subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit the, light, hit the bell. Uh, hit the like button. Share us. Uh, hope we're doing a good job. If you see things that we need to improve on, let us know because we do our best to try to improve in every video. Right. Um, 
Check out whiskeyinahammock.com for the merch. We got glasses and and, uh, and shirts. Right. And we're working on a couple other things. But uh, Chris is going to hit us with the motto on the what? way out. What? Before we say that, I want to say a huge shout out to both of you guys. Thank you for including me in this and in the Whiskey <laughs> Acres. And to all of you out there, you see this, you haven't seen it before, go back with the Whiskey Acres reviews. Check it out. And if you love those, please comment, say, bring Dan back. Come on. <laughs> we love having hey, Dan here with right. us. Right. If Dan brings us bottles like this, every time. No problem. <laughs> I want to come back without that, though. So throw those comments in there, man. We love the D. <laughs> whoa. 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 This is a family went, show, guys. Went sideways. <laughs> this is a family show, guy. <laughs> Dan, that's what they call me, D. <laughs> All right. I think I got nothing to say to that. So hit us with the motto, man. Yeah, man. Let's right. go. You, you, for another drink, you hit us with the motto. We love you guys. Till next time, don't forget to comment. <laughs> may the wind always throw your hammock and may your glass never go dry. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>